We have always said that we would respond in a timely and appropriate manner to any credible information which may lead us towards finding Keith. Our actions in the last week or so are a highly visible example of how we would respond to this kind of information, with the force utilising the specialist knowledge of staff, experts and officers. It is these accredited experts and specialists who have brought us to a position from where we can say that, despite a thorough search of the scene and ongoing analysis of samples taken, both by ourselves and a third party, there is currently no evidence of the presence of human remains at or surrounding the identified sites on Saddleworth Moor. <coughs> However, I want to make it clear that our investigation to find answers for Keith's family is not over. We understand how our communities in Greater Manchester feel about this case, the renewed interest in it and our shared desire to find Keith. Much of Saddleworth Moor is private land, so we would ask that members of the public in the first instance report any perceived intelligence to their local police service. The discovery of suspected human remains must be reported immediately to enable the use of specialist resources to investigate appropriately. On Thursday the 29th of September 2022, GMP were informed that a member of the public had located the body of Keith Bennett and had evidence of such. The same afternoon, officers from the cold case unit and scenes of crime officers met with the individual. He informed us that he had taken a number of soil samples from Saddleworth Moor, which he had sent to a chemist contact of his for analysis. The chemist had informed him that the samples included higher levels of particular elements that indicate the presence of human remains. He has then returned to the site to dig and recovered what he believed was a fruit stone, clothing material, hair and what he described as decaying body, body tissue, further supporting the indication of the presence of human remains. He also took a number of photographs which he sent to an archaeologist contact of his for analysis. The archaeologist had informed him that one of the photographs contained what they believed to be a human jaw. The member of the public provided us with the samples and copies of the photographs that he had taken and then he took the officers to the scene to the location where he had dug and also provided grid references. Based on this information and being unable at the time to rule out the possibility that the photograph contained a human jaw, we secured the area. On Friday the 30th of September, independent accredited forensic archaeologists and certified forensic anthropologists, together with GMP's crime scene investigators, began a methodical forensic archaeological excavation and examination of the identified area. The excavation was carried out to the same standard as a criminal investigation and this was essential as in the event that we did find Keith it would be required for evidence at coronial court. To ensure thoroughness we also utilised the drone to produce images for analysis by a forensic archaeologist and trained GMP search officers conducted a grid search of a sizeable area around the dig site. During this search another area of recently disturbed land was found this was also subject to a methodical forensic archaeological excavation and examination and no items of interest were found. The items given to us by the member of the public have been examined by a forensic scientist and though this hasn't yet indicated the presence of human remains, more analysis is ongoing. An accredited forensic geologist has also taken a number of soil samples, analysis of which is also ongoing. With regards to the photograph, we have sought the assistance of a forensic botanist and we are now utilising the knowledge and skills of a forensic image expert to put a standard anthropological measurement to the object in the photo to assist with identification. At this stage the indications are that it would be considerably smaller than a juvenile jaw and it cannot be ruled out that it is plant-based. Accredited forensic scientists base their observations and determinations on credible evidence which can withstand the highest level of scrutiny. Therefore, they will not make declarations of certainty without necessary analysis of all the facts. The excavation and examination at the site is complete and we have found no evidence that this is the burial location of Keith Bennett. To reiterate, forensic analysis is ongoing, but at this stage there is no scientific evidence to support the suggestion that human remains are present. Thank you.